Today we're going to install phonetic fonts on your Mac and use keyboard layouts to access them. First, we'll download the font from the Summer Institute of Linguistics to add to your computer. Go to software.sil.org fonts, scroll down to global. The fonts that I think are best for phonetics are Gentium, Keras, and Dulos. I'm going to download Gentium today, so click Gentium. This will take you to the Gentium page where you'll find downloads. You'll then need to choose the latest version, labeled for Mac, Linux, and Windows, here. Save the file to your computer. Next, we're going to download the SIL keyboard layout at software.sil.org slash products. Scroll down and click IPA keyboards. On the page that opens, under Mac OS X keyboards, click download. Now under Download, choose the latest version of the IPA Unicode keyboard and click Download IPA Mac KBD.DMG to download the file. Click Save to download to your computer. You may also want to download the documentation for the keyboard. Besides including instructions, it's going to give you keyboard sequences for all of the IPA symbols. Now we're going to go to our Downloads area to install everything. Installing the font is actually really easy. Begin by clicking Gentium plus zipped file. After the Finder window opens, you'll have to double-click the file of the same name. When they unzip in your Finder, you're going to install the two files that end in TTF. Double-click the file to install it. It will open a window showing the font, and then click Install. Repeat the same steps for the next file. Your font is installed. Now we'll install the keyboard layout. In your Finder, go back to your Downloads folder and access the IPA Mac KBD.DMG file. I'm going to drag it to my desktop to make this easier. Double-click on the file to decompress it. Next from the Finder menu, Go, and then Computer. In the window that opens, double-click your hard drive, then Library, then Keyboard Layouts. Drag the IPA keyboard layout over to the folder you just opened. You'll need to authorize with your login password so that you can move this file into the System Files area. With this done, you're going to need to restart your system and come back to finish the job. Welcome back. We've got the keyboard in place, now it's time to install it. In your Finder, go to your Apple menu in the upper left-hand corner, choose System Preferences, double-click Keyboard. In these Keyboard Preferences, click on the Input Sources tab, now go to the plus down in the bottom left-hand corner. Scroll down all the languages and select Others. Now you'll see your IPA keyboard. Click it and click Add. It is now installed. You'll now notice there's a little flag in the upper right-hand corner on the status bar. This is where you're going to change keyboards. The flag that shows initially is your default keyboard. I have an English US keyboard, so it shows a US flag. If you click on it, you can go down and choose the IPA keyboard. When you're done typing phonetics, you can switch back to your default. Now I'm going to show you in Word how I can access the IPA characters. I'll start by writing my name, where I can change the lowercase i to the small capital I character. Then I can write the schwa, the script A, and the turn script A. Finally, I can write the thorn and the theta. That's it. You're done. 
start typing.